Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. We have a gameplay trailer for Hunted, which is season 14 of Apex Legends. Now I did attend a press event where uh, Respawn talked about all the new changes coming to uh, season 14 in Apex Legends. We'll go over those while we're watching, or I guess maybe after watching the trailer. I'll leave a timestamp up if you guys want to just switch to the stuff that I know that's coming out. I can't talk about le uh, the new Legend Vantage just yet. The embargo isn't lift for lifted for her, but I can go over everything else that I saw there. In the ring. Good old Skull Town. You are always both hunter. It's back. I think it's smaller, but it is back. Some good old sniping action from Vantage. Very and nice. Hunted. The music they pick is just always goes so hard. I love this. The map that's getting changed is obviously Kings Canyon this time. Uh, I believe they're trying to make it bigger, but we'll we'll talk more about that later. The only difference between predator and prey. Some good old movements from Vantage, very cool. As well as these icons, you can kind of see on the screen here where she aims down sights. There's like these armor values, as well as the name of the um the legend you're aiming at. Didn't need binoculars to see Pretty that nuts. Music. Now they also do have, uh, they have changed some of the POI, so Cage got a bit of a change, the side hill location got a bit of a change, um, pretty, pretty nice. Now the battle pass, uh, weapon is a triple take, I believe, it looks pretty sick, love that glowy orb thing. Here's some of the more, more of the battle pass skins here. <laughs> got a bald, uh, got a shave head caustic. Level cap increase, yes. So I'll talk more about this, but there is a prestige system now. I'm just getting started. Survival's about more than living. Love it. It's about living free. Ooh, that flying boost. So sick. In the Apex games, there's only you see when she aims down with her sniper rifle, there's like, what, five? Five shots on the right-hand side? Interesting. Dude. Skull Town coming back is so hyped though. Uh, yes, yeah, so season 14 launches on August 9th. We have a lot to go through. As I said earlier, I was invited to a press event where they talked about um, a lot of the things to come into season 14. So I kind of, I'll kind of go over them now. The level cap increase, I believe, is up to level 2000. What that means is it goes through the prestige system of level 500 four times. I might be wrong on that. I don't have the best memory and uh, quite honestly, I didn't take any notes, so shout out to Game Merchant for digging notes. But he, uh, but I believe it's it's four times of 500. It might be higher, I might be off on that. Um, other things that you kind of didn't see in here is that the wingman is gonna become a sniper. Uh, well, as far as like sniper ammo anyway, so using sniper ammo, using sniper attachment. I don't think that means you can equip an eight times onto the wing, man. Uh, the other thing that changed with, like, I guess, ammo designation is the Spitfire. Now, the Spitfire wasn't really shown in this trailer, I don't think, but the Spitfire is now a light gun. And I think the reason why they did that was because they felt like there's too many, like, heavy weapons that are, like, really good. Like, mo too much of a heavy ammo meta right now, right? And heavy already has two... Uh, two, uh, what do you call it? Two LMGs. So you have the Rampage and the Spitfire. The EVA also got a buff. I think it gets stocks now, and I think it shoots faster. It gets double tap, things like that. G7 uh, is on the ground. That also gets double tap, I think. I might be wrong on that. And the Volt is being on the ground. What's going to be put into the care package, though, is the uh, Bow and the Rampage are going to the care package, though. Now, Skull Piercer is coming back. That's probably one of my favorite hop ups besides Hammer Point. But Skull Piercer is coming back. It is going to be available on the Wingman, of course, as well as the 3030. The 3030, I feel like, is a sleeper hit. I feel like a lot more people are starting to realize how good it is. Yeah, there isn't a new gun, but there is a new attachment, which is the laser sights. And I don't think, unless I missed it, I don't think this trailer shows the laser sights. But the laser sights, um, essentially improve your hip fire accuracy so you can attach them onto smgs uh specifically and just make your hip fire uh, just more accurate and i think uh the, the reasoning why they uh the reasoning behind that is they want to differentiate sort of like you know where the smgs can specialize versus like ars and lmgs so i don't think i don't think barrels i think the laser sights are going to be replacing the barrel attachment for smgs i might be wrong on that 
but I vaguely remember that being covered. Now, all the map changes are going to be on the website, uh, so I'm not going to go over them too in depth, but um, I believe Skull Town is back, so you can kind of see it right there in my little, um, where I circled. From what I've heard, it's going to be like a high uh, loot, high value loot area. I don't think it's called Skull Town anymore. I believe it's called Relic. Yeah, it's called Relic. Now, another thing they didn't really show in the trailer, and I'm kind of just scrubbing through the trailer just to make sure I didn't miss it, but yeah, I don't think it's in the trailer, but the gold res knockdown shield is reworked. Gold knockdown shield now gives you the effect of the gold backpack where it, it just gives you bonus health when you rest someone. So there's no more self-revive. Now the gold backpack, now instead of the revive mechanic that I used to have, uh, now it has the, uh, now it gets higher capacity for heal items. So I forget the exact denominations, but it's like more bats and more med kits specifically. Um, and I think more Phoenix kits as well. I think it's like a stack of two or three Phoenix kits. Don't remember exactly. I'm sorry. Oh, and one last thing before I forget. Uh, the uh, I should have mentioned this during the level increase, the level cap increase kind of spiel I did earlier. But because there's going to be a level increased to like how, how like to, to essentially 2000 levels, um, that means everyone can get an heirloom for free. That's right, guys. There's going to be 544 uh, just natural loot packs you can get from just leveling up in the game. That, um, where, where, so if you guys didn't know, after 500 packs, you are guaranteed by the game to get heirloom shards. Also, check out the website if you guys want to know more about what's coming to Apex. There's some information about Vantage. Again, I can't speak too much about what I know what's coming right now. Um, but you can kind of just read more about her blog and or, or a blurb about her. Uh, uh, you can read more about her in the uh, on this webpage. I'll link it down in the description. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for tuning in.